Today we are at Dagenham Furniture Outlet and we will be shopping for a buy unit. I have been looking for a buy unit for my place almost over a year now but I haven't really managed to find the design that I've been looking for. So my husband he's already in the store and he has sent me a few snaps. There's one particular piece which I really like but there are a few things that I'd like to check before you actually get it. So before we get into the store I'd like to show you all the design that I have in mind and also where I'd like to place it at home. This is the design I have in mind. The shelves are attached to the wall and everything is on display. I have been thinking of placing it behind the dining table or here in between the sofa and the dining table. Sorry about the messy room. I quickly filmed it just before I went to the furniture outlet. So I quickly wanted to show you all the size of the room. So it's an L-shaped room and it's open. The sitting and the dining are together. And I have already showed you all the design that I have in mind and also where I'd like to place it. But the bar unit needs to be of a specific height so that it can be seen from both the sides, especially from the sitting room because my sofa is quite low. So I'm using the dining chair, the white chair as a reference. So the dining chair can clearly be seen from this area and those chairs are 37 inches tall. Now we know that the minimum height needs to be 37 so we can start shopping. The top will be attached to the wall and will be on display so we are taking it. The height is a little bit over 37 inches so that's the perfect height and it would be visible from our sitting area but I'm not too keen on the colour but my husband said he would be able to change it with some spray pins so I guess we are taking it. I had already decided to paint it in bronze but my husband now has got this idea that he wants to combine black and bronze together to give it a vintage effect. I just wanted to play safe and paint it all in bronze but my husband seemed really confident so we are going for the vintage look. Now he is applying black all over that's going to be his base colour. Before you move on to your next stage, you have to let it dry first. So now that our base is dry, we are making small little strokes with the brush to create that rusty effect. The strokes are pretty harsh. In order to get a more seamless look, you have to repeat the process several times with bronze. So that means you'd have to go back on the painted areas and add some more colour. This is the finished product. I quite like it. What do you think? Now tell me if the position is alright here. Are you sure? So now we are assembling it. Now let's put the glasses. So I've got some alcohol free drinks. I've got grape juice and some fruit cocktails. These are celebration drinks dressed in a fancy bottle. I'll also be assembling the glasses now. By the way, I think a small sheepskin rug underneath the table would look really nice and it would also help to separate the area from the sitting room and also from the dining area. So this creates a conversational area but covers a lot of the display. So I decided to move them around a bit. Now the glasses are more visible. 
a bit cross or think that looks the best. But I'll have them directed towards the other side, towards my safer because they are of a similar shade. So I think the transition from the safer to the bar in it would be more smoothing. I just quickly wanted to show you guys these two knobs on both the sides. It's there so that people can drop it down from the ceiling. We have already attached it to the wall, but I'll still get a separate golden chain and attach it from the ceiling. So that gives an illusion as if it was hanging. And this will also act as a chandelier. So this is the final look. I hope you like it.